Hey everybody, day nine, uh, and now's about the time. We're in the third week, middle of the week, hump day, and this is probably about the time if you're a new teacher that you're starting to wonder if you got in over your head. At least I know that's where I was at five and a half years ago when I started this process. Uh, and so today's video is for you, the new teachers. I just want to give you some encouragement that you know, you're doing a great job, that it's okay that you don't know what exactly you're doing, maybe even tomorrow, uh, and definitely not for Friday, that it's normal and that we're, every teacher that started out has felt immensely overwhelmed um, with all that we are having to learn and getting to know our students and all the content that we have to try to present in what way and we're just inundated with it all. So please do me a huge favor and just take a huge deep breath. You're going to be fine. Um, so as you start going, a um, couple things that help me out is really starting to budget my time. We have you know, a certain amount of time for prep, a certain amount of time before school, a certain amount of time after school, and really sitting down and thinking about where do I want to put that time, right? So maybe Mondays on your prep is the day that you're really going to look at your schedule for the week and what do you hope to do big picture, what do you hope to plan um, and get through by the end of the week. Uh, and then maybe Tuesdays is where you dedicate to answering all those emails, the hundreds and hundreds of emails that we're going to get every single day. Um, you know, use your prep time for specific things. Uh, you'll start to feel less overwhelmed as you kind of dedicate that time. And you have to accept that what you get done during that time is what you get done. Uh, and it's okay if things go a little bit longer. And if you don't get those assignments graded, you know, right away, um, get them back to them as soon as possible, or you don't respond to all of those emails. Prioritize families, student emails, and the pertinent ones uh, that you get that are work-related and answer those. Uh, don't feel like you need to get bogged down in everything. And then find somebody that you can rely on to just talk to. Um, to, to debrief with, to have, oh, wow, like I, th this lesson went really poorly or, man, this student uh, really challenged me today and I didn't know how to respond. Um, or, you know, my colleagues are not helping me and we're supposed to be teaching the same thing, whatever it may be. Um, find somebody that you can debrief with and that's going to be an encouraging voice for you that's going to keep you moving forward and that really gives you energy because that's really what it's all about is you have to have enough in your cup to be able to pour out into others. And so find somebody who's constantly filling up your cup that's inspiring you, that makes you want to push harder, that makes you want to be the best that you can. And ultimately, if you are connecting with your students and you are giving it everything that you have, it's all going to fall into place. You're going to be just fine. So go easy on yourself. Continue to remember why you got into this and how much you hope to change the world and how much you hope to inspire your students and you're going to be just fine um, if you have other questions or concerns you can always contact me comment or email uh, and try to help you out because we've all been there before so stay strong and you'll be just fine have a great day